Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. I've got to interject with a few things before this video starts. Firstly, if you haven't watched the Special Weapons tier list, you should probably do that now because I'm not going to be explaining them in detail in this video. Yes, right now. Go, go do it right now. Why are you still here? Oh, you've watched it? Oh, okay, good. Now then. Secondly, I went back and watched my old tier list that I made and Jesus Christ, it's awful. Trust me, I'll get it right this time, I swear. Finally, I probably won't be making another character tier list, but I will still be making either other tier lists or random Vigilini 8 videos, either if you ask for them or if I randomly get the motivation. Okay? Okay, now you can start the intro. In today's least shocking news, Convoy still fucking sucks. Convoy is the leader of the Vigilantes and drives his Livingston truck. Convoy remains at the bottom of this tier list for a few reasons, however the biggest reason is that he's slow as fuck. Convoy has the lowest acceleration in the game and the second lowest avoidance. Not to mention that his special is just garbage as well, so that kinda doesn't help him out. Convoy can become a bit more viable though if you force drop his trailer, which can be done with either the hover or the water ski pickups. However, this can't be done with the snow pickup, so if you're on Utah, well, you're fuck out of luck, mate. On the plus side, at least he can still ram the fuck out of his opponents. Relentless. Ah yes, shitty characters come in all shapes and sizes. Obaki is the personal bodyguard of Lord Clyde and drives the Tsunami. Now I might just not be good enough at this game, but Obaki is honestly a cunt to control. Having maximum acceleration and top speed on a fucking lawn dart really isn't a good combination, and whoever thought that it was needs to be fucking shanked. Obaki also kinda has a lackluster special weapon, but it does have some situational uses, so it's not completely useless. Couple all that with a second lowest durability and you have yourself a low tier character. but I really question my master's orders. You wait, I respect you. <laughs> Frank, what the hell are you doing, man? That's my character. I'm the trash man. I come out, I throw trash all over the, all over the ring, and then I start eating garbage. The Garbage Man, also known as Y the Alien from the original Vigilante 8, is a drifter collecting scrap metal in his grub dual loader. Garbage Man also slots in a D tier due to his low top speed, giving him the same problem that Convoy suffers from. Getting to places on the map is a huge fucking pain. Credit where it's due though, his special does a good chunk of damage and can combo into environmental hazards when used against medium sized or bigger class enemies. Though his fat ass makes it hard to see in front of you sometimes, and the hot rod version can't ram enemies due to his mini hovers. He may be trash, but he ain't the worst. The proof is out there! The truth is indeed out there, fellas. However, that truth is that you fucking suck. Dave's Coltsman are three lads who are trying to follow in the footsteps of Dave from the original V8 and their Xandu RV. Honestly, not much can be said about them due to them not having a quest line, but with my few test runs, the word I could use to describe them is... Boring. Sure, their stats aren't terrible, but they're not really good either, and their special weapon never really whammies when you want it to due to the weird collision hitboxes on the special. Not to mention it fucking destroys your ears. <laughs> Honestly, only pick this guy if you want to be a dick to your friend with the hearing aids. Join us! Join us! Opportunities knocking. Seeing a youth in this game pleases me as an Australian. Nina Loco is the ex-lover of former Coyote leader Sid Byrne, who was also an Australian actually with the worst fucking accent ever, and drives the El Guerrero. 
Nina's stats aren't anything to complain about, but you can't brag about them either. My major reason for putting Nina this low down on the tier list is a special weapon. Which for those of you who actually did watch that fucking video will know why she's in C tier, despite having no other major drawbacks. The war path awaits me. I forget this dude even exists half the time to be honest. Dusty Earth is a mystical shaman who drives his Wapiti four-wheel drive. Dusty is yet another character I can't really say much about. Besides his surprisingly high acceleration, Dusty has no real standout stats. And as talked about in the special weapon video, his special isn't exactly fantastic either. Though I can imagine it's useful for being a dick in local co-op or versus. They add a brand new character with no ties to the previous game and don't give him a quest line. Of course I'm gonna have fuck out to talk about. I'm the peddler of doom. Real talk though, Padre has the best ending movie ever. Padre Destino, which translates to Father Destiny, is a preacher preparing for doomsday in his Goliath half-track. Padre boasts a very high acceleration and durability, however he has a below average top speed. Again, my major issue with Padre is similar to Nino. His special just isn't that great. It's not without its merits though, being able to warp to the fuck face halfway across the map is quite handy and it does a good amount of damage to steel targets. Hell, it'll even one shot medium class characters if you somehow pull off a fucking whammy. Why did I put this fuck at the top of B tier last time? I honestly forget. Dallas 13 is a biobot subordinate of Lord Clyde that pilots the Palomino 13. Look, Dallas certainly isn't bad though, I do still think he's B tier worthy, considering he has a high acceleration while still keeping a good top speed and durability keeps him in B tier. My major fault, however, was giving his special weapon too much credit last time. After my special weapons tier list, I realized it really wasn't that great compared to the characters that now outrank him. Still fucking OP against buildings though. Remember when I thought Sheila was A tier? Yeah. Me too. Sheila is the go getter niece of Vigilante Leader Convoy and drives her Wonder Wagon. Sheila's stats aren't anything spectacular, sure she's got a high acceleration and avoidance, but has a below average top speed and she's the fourth weakest character in the game. The major reason Sheila is now B tier is because of how she handles. The Wonder Wagon has this habit of not sticking to the fucking ground when you want it to, and it feels really floaty when you're trying to handbrake turn. Hell, even with that high acceleration, she doesn't really feel all that fast. Her special is fucking solid though, she is still B2 material despite handing like she's on fucking roller skates. Oh, wait, maybe that's the point. A prime example of an S tier special on a D tier vehicle. Team Fast are the long lost siblings of Houston and ride around in their Dakota stunt cycle. Team Fast's stats are pretty bad honestly, having the lowest HP, the smallest body frame with a high acceleration doesn't really work that well as I discussed with Obaki, not to mention they get bullied by pretty much anybody medium weight class or up. But I hear you ask me, Downey you cunning Australian rogue, why the hell did you put them in B tier then if they suck so bad? Well my questionable friend, the answer is quite simple because their special is fucking amazing. Blazing Glory Rockets is easily the second best special overall and you could probably get by using it alone. Who knew fireworks were so fucking deadly? Check me out. Looking good. Uh-huh. <laughs> Rolo's the man. The only viable super heavyweight character, honestly. Molo was recently sprung out of Juvie by Lord Clyde and now drives his Blue Borough bus. Out of the three super heavyweight characters, Molo is far superior. For starters, he's the lightest of the three. Sure, he still has bad acceleration and top speed, his handling is fantastic. Somehow. Because of where the wheels are placed and how the game handles handbraking, Molo actually has a really tight turning circle, meaning he's the easiest thick lad to control. To top all this off, he actually has a fantastic special that can one-shot anybody besides Convoy with a single clip of 40. He's also just as good in the OG V8 too. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, eh? Yo, let's bout to change! 
I really didn't give John enough credit last time. John Torque drives his Thunderbolt and is the muscle for Convoy in the Vigilantes. Okay, real talk though, I have to apologize for those of you who actually really do like John, because I didn't give him enough love last time. John has the highest acceleration besides Obaki, while still boasting a fantastic top speed and a decent durability. Honestly, zipping around as John is so much fun. Mobility is one of my favorite things, if you couldn't tell by this tier list already. And then there's his special. Good god, I've never had so much fun with a special. It's so fucking dumb, I love it. John reminds me of Shaft a lot. Maybe it's because they based John off of him. The odds were against you, fool. I ain't no half human. I'm all woman. Man, I love Houston, even if she isn't the best. Houston is a coyote turned vigilante thanks to her current lover Convoy and drives her Samson tow truck. Houston may be a heavyweight, but she's the lightest for her class and has a great acceleration and top speed to boot. Houston also actually has the best special for multitasking. Because her special allows you to drag your opponents behind you, you can whammy them while still going for item and weapon pickups. You're basically killing two birds with one stone. Or one hook, in this case. How do you like that for an overhaul? The boogie man don't skip a beat! Boogie not having a questline in this game should be considered a crime. Boogie is a long-time coyote who's recently been broken out of prison and drives his marathon. Okay, let's be honest here, Boogie is slow as fuck. His acceleration might look decent, but that top speed is a huge burden. So why is he an A tier? Because he has the best special weapon for any character, that's why. As I stated in the special weapons tier list, his special has literally zero cooldown. Pair that with an auto-tracking, multi-projectile weapon, and you will pretty much tear through an entire map of cars with whammies. Thank god it's only got a clip of three. I've come through time to claim what's mine. You will fear my pink Bobby limo. Lord Clyde is a former vigilante who became the leader of the Coyotes and drives his Excelsior stretch. Lord Clyde is probably the most balanced character in terms of stats, sitting around 270 for acceleration, top speed, and durability. Not to mention his special is fantastic, as discussed previously, so you're not going to have any trouble cleaning up your opponents. Clyde is just a solid all-rounder with a great special. What's not the love, right? Chase is the name, Agent Chase. The dude drives a fucking Hot Wheels car. How cool is that? Agent R. Chase is an agent, sent from the year 2077 to track down Clyde with his Chrono Stinger. Chase honestly is the best mobility in the game. He's a lightweight character with a ton of speed, but he has a decent frame, so he's not too hard to control. My biggest problem with Chase, however, is this special. Sure, it sets up easy whammies with other weapons, but having only one ammo really hurts it. Most of the time, you're better off going for those three weapon combos instead of the two. Funny how Chase is only outclassed by two other drifters who share the same weight class as him. As I said, on the rocks, not blended. Houston, we have a go. Barbo's no longer in the top spot. Shocking, I know. Astronaut Barbo is an escaped subject from NASA and took the Moon Trekker on his way out. Barbo may be out of the top spot, but is easily still S tier material. My biggest issues with him, however, is the low top speed and his difficulty to control due to Barbo having a six wheel setup. While his vehicle may not be that great, he still has a fantastic special weapon that has the best synergy with normal weapons compared to any other special. So if Barbo's out of the top spot, you should be able to guess who moved up, right? Don't be shy, sweetie pie. You got it, the queen of the silver screen takes the top position. Jesse Blue is a former movie star forced back onto the FBI after a scandal and now drives her vertigo. Jesse has very similar stats to Chase though, meaning she has a great mobility while still being easy to control. She also has a special weapon as far superior to Chase, which is automatically better than him. The main reason that Chassis is above Bobo, however, is for the pure mobility that Chassis has. And if you look at the times between these two, you can see why I like mobility so much. So if you couple top tier mobility with a good special, you get the best character in the game. Who knew, huh? I'm the queen of the silver screen. <sighs> it's finally done. 
all 18 of these cunts put into a numbered slot because the last tier list sucked and I needed to fix it. Let's hope I don't look back on this in a year's time and think I'm wrong yet again. And if you want other V8 videos, feel free to let me know. Hell, I might even do a tier list on the original Vigilante 8 if I ever feel like it. All the footage you've seen can be found on speedrun.com or on my channel. I put everything in the playlist so you guys can find shit easier. Gotta be organized, you know.